Yeah, I got a call and told and was told that we they would like to put me in charge of the company's uh, microelectronics business, integrated circuits, uh, where you have little, you know, thousands of little circuits on a single wafer of of material. Uh, the interest, most interesting part of that for me was that it opened up a technology that I had to learn very quickly, probably the most sophisticated electronics uh, and physics uh, that, you, that the world has to offer. I also knew at the day uh, I was asked that these things, by this time, the uh, microelectronics industry had grown to where you could see what was going to happen. You could plan pretty closely what kind of improvements were going to take place and how it was going to be done and what technology was necessary to do the various things that were required. And so uh, I, in, and these devices were going to appear everywhere uh, in all kinds of uh, applications. I, I realized this, uh, so I signed, I joined all of the branch, uh, branches of engineering, of the societies for all of the uh, particular uses of electric, uh, electricity, and uh, uh, got started a flood of every month. I would get the the uh, monthly report for all of aspects of applications of microelectronics. Uh, that uh, need to be learned in a very quick way. Uh, not because I was going to be doing them, but, but, but because I was going to be leading them. You do not have to be an expert to run a business that has a high technology. You don't have to be quite as knowledgeable as the people who are going to do the work. But you have to be, you do have to be skilled and trained well enough to where you can understand what they're telling you, what your people, your experts in your business are telling you, and that you can make conscious decisions and proper decisions with respect to what their recommendations are and opportunities that, that they describe uh, so you can manage the business properly. So that was my method of getting a handle on the inflowing technology that was going to involve very rapidly and, inv and involve technology at, the, at pretty much the limits of physics. Uh, so uh, the, in addition to that, I went and got the largest <laughs> most comprehensive textbook on solid state physics, and I digested it. The reason for General Electric deciding to, even though they had a small, very small business in microelectronics, they had not made the decision to enter the field. And so they, the reason for their entering that field was to support the needs of their other businesses and especially the computer business. After a three-year period, we had made good progress considering we started almost from nothing in the face of some, a couple of huge competitors. Uh, we were doing pretty well. Uh, the computer, the company decided to get out of the computer business and since they no longer had the computer business to be concerned about, they decided they didn't need to be in the 
integrated circuits business. Kind of lucky that if we were going out, that's the time to go out before you've spent millions of dollars on equipment. Uh, so that left me uh, with uh, uh, a new need to move. And uh, after a relatively short time, I've got a chance to be a, uh, appointed general manager of the high voltage circuit breaker business. 